It's time for Wheel of Nature, where Wheel is welcome. Hi everyone, Miss Mallory here, the curious conservationist, and welcome back to another episode of Weird Nature. This week we are talking chromosomes. What's so weird about a chromosome? I'll get right to that. But before we do our quiz or anything else, I want to make sure we know what a chromosome is. Every single living organism on this planet has chromosomes. Typically they come in pairs. You get half from mom, half from dad, and they are the structures that contain our DNA. Some researchers refer to it as the blueprints of life. Um, others refer to it as the instructions that tell organisms how to grow, survive, thrive, reproduce, basically live out their lives. Okay, so now I've got the definition out of the way and we know what we're talking about. What's so weird about chromosome? Well, it's not necessarily the chromosome itself, but the amount that can fit into a single cell and how that differs from species to species. But before I really start impressing you with my nerdiness, let's see if you can guess which species has the most chromosomes known to science. Is it A, a type of primate, B, a type of plant, C, a type of mushroom, or D, a type of whale? All right, did you get your answer? Well, if you thought the amount of chromosomes was based on the size of the animal, then you may have thought blue whale, which only has 44 chromosomes or 22 pairs in each cell. There's actually a species of rat that has more. And if you thought it was based on maybe intelligence, you may have picked A, a type of primate, which includes humans at 46 total chromosomes or 23 pairs. But guess what? That's less than a potato. A potato has more than us. <laughs> so the correct answer, B, a type of plant. And it isn't even a tree. It's a very small, very unimpressive, shin-high plant known as the adder's tongue fern. 46 sounds a lot for humans, but this tiny little plant has 1,260 total chromosomes per cell. Not all together, but in every single one of those tiny cells. That's incredible. So of course, you know, I was pretty curious when I learned about this in the naturalist class and I wanted to learn more. And I actually found a link that list species based on the number of chromosomes. I'm gonna attach that below. Check it out and in the comment section, write down the species that you thought was the most mind-blowing when you realized how many chromosomes it had. For me, it was the male jack jumper ant, which doesn't even have a complete pair of chromosomes. It has one lonely chromosome. Kind of like me on a Saturday night. <laughs> But I just thought that was so fascinating. So comment below on whatever species that you thought was fascinating, included the number of chromosomes as well. And I think I might give away a prize. You know, in one week, I will pick a winner. Well, that's it for this week. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're gonna be putting these out every single Wednesday. So until next time, this is Miss Mallory inviting you to step outside and adventure.